Have you ever wondered why fighters' physiques look so different? Athletes who are involved in combat sports have many different body types. Ranging from sport to sport, you'll notice the differences between them. For example, most wrestlers tend to look more stocky and bulked out. That's because they are required to have a tremendous amount of strength to succeed on the mat. Kickboxers, Muay Thai, Taekwondo, and karate fighters, for the most part, are leaned out and have low body fat percentages. That's because they are strikers and work more on explosiveness and technique. Same goes for boxers as well. Of course, it varies in every weight class. You got your big guys and small guys. However, you can ask almost any fighter, no matter how big, small, shredded, or bulked out they are, muscles do not win fights. It's easy to judge and make that assumption, but the person who has trained more is going to win the fight. Notice I said the word trained. You can look like Arnold all you want, but if you don't know what you're doing and don't have the stamina, it's gonna be a rough ride for you. Let's get more into each fighting style. First off, you got your ground game. This includes judo, jujitsu, and wrestling. Now wrestlers, they literally have to manhandle another human and pin them down to win. For those who have never wrestled before, it takes an insane amount of body control and muscle endurance to perform well in this sport, which requires them to lift a lot of weights to increase strength. I have never competed in wrestling, but I have tussled around a bit. It's a lot more difficult than it looks. Think about it. When you're going at it with your opponent and you're both trying your absolute hardest to smother each other into the ground, you better be conditioned. Judo and Jiu Jitsu, these athletes focus more on technique and endurance. Usually the smarter man wins these fights. The one who has more knowledge and technique has the advantage. Be sure not to get body slammed by these people or even worse submitted or choked out. That's a tough way to go out. Striking. This is personally my favorite style of combat. These fighters come in many different shapes and sizes, but they all stay on the leaner side. You don't need to be jacked to throw a punch. You need to have good technique. The best strikers are usually the ones that have the basics mastered. Then the speed and power come with it. Instead of spending all their time pumping iron, they focus more on the fundamentals and knowledge of their field. Fighters who are jacked may pack a lot of power, but they are usually more stiff and less quick than those who are lean and nimble. Bruce Lee once said, notice that the stiffest tree is most easily cracked, while the bamboo or willow tree survives by bending with the wind. This next one is also a form of striking. Boxing. The only weapons you have are your hands. I put this in its own category because it shapes your body a little bit differently. The spectrum is a lot wider on this one. You got guys like Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Two completely different body types in the same heavyweight division. And then you got guys on all the other divisions like Floyd Mayweather, Javante Davis, Dimitri Bevel, and Canelo. Obviously, you need to have major stamina in your arms in order to protect yourself and fire back at your opponent. They work mostly on their explosiveness and endurance. You'll see that boxers tend to have broader shoulders and big lats. That's because of all the upper body conditioning that they go through. Even though it's not common to see boxers with giant leg muscles, the lower body is equally as important. They may not look like it, but they were all well coordinated and fine tuned to the sweet science. Footwork is what separates an experienced fighter from a fresh fighter. I'm a boxer myself, and ever since I started fighting, my body has definitely adapted to the sport. And then of course there's MMA. These guys come in all forms. It's a mix of everything I just talked about. I mean, it's mixed martial arts after all. A lot of fighters don't care how they look. They care about how they perform. Of course, there are fighters who do care, me being included in that. I feel that a sharp body breeds more confidence. And as Deion Sanders once said, you look good, you feel good, you play good. There is something psychological about it. When it comes down to it though, it doesn't matter. A warrior's main focus is his art. Thanks everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have anything you'd like to share, leave down a comment. Remember, knowledge is power, so never stop learning. I'll see you on the next one.